Hi, Glenn Hausman here for Here to Stay TV, powered by Bridge Street. I'm coming at you today from the Service Department Summit Recharge held in Berlin. Now, last year, the same event was in Amsterdam, where I had a chance to fall in love with the Zoku. And I have Mark Zangurias here from Zoku. Mark, great property. And I got to be honest with you, I know it sounds a little... But I've been talking about your brand all year long at mm -hmm. keynote events that I've been doing all around the world. Wow. I got to tell you, I've really connected with it. Uh, you have a great way of creating co-living, co-working, an actual sense of community. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more about how you actually created that real vibrant sense of happening and, and wonder that people experience when they go mm. there. I feel humble when you give me all those compliments. I'm, but, I'm telling uh, you, thanks man, a lot. I yeah. really can't get yeah. over how cool it is and I tell everybody about it. Thanks a And lot. no, he's not paying me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're also super happy with, mm -hmm. uh, with how we position Zoku and kind of how our guests, uh, the Global Nomads, kind of yeah. feel Zoku and live Zoku and, 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 and experience it. So that's really very well. And uh, over the past year, we've further extended kind of on the, uh, on the, on the co-working side of things mm -hmm. to really further activate right. uh, public spaces. We also implemented Learn Zoku to kind of put content mm. partners so people can right. also develop themselves a little bit more so then they, they go home more inspired. It also gives them the impetus to show up and spend money. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. it also works. Yeah, because yeah. uh, what I'm getting from it is you seem to have a seamlessness in people come and they have breakfast and they get into their work day and then yeah. you've got the... Um, the, the communal kitchen where everybody grabs that buffet lunch should they choose um, for an, uh, an additional fee. And I see everyone coming together and somehow it just seamlessly turns from work environment to play environment at a certain time. And you get that same group of people, but more of them. And it's just, it's just truly happening. Yeah. And I'm, I must say, every day I'm still super proud of the mm -hmm. team, how they, how, how they get this all together. And you see kind of the guests kind of who stay at Zoku, right. who may work outside of Zoku, but inside Amsterdam, who kind of leave after mm -hmm. breakfast. But then the local community kind of comes in around 9, 9.30 or right. so. And then this new vibe comes in, or the people who, who, who work only for a day at Zoku, mm -hmm. they kind of pay a, a, a daily yes. fee, but then including lunch, eh? because the community yep. is so important for us. And around four Four o'clock or so, we in, we introduce the fika moment yep. where we get all the people together and just give them the drinks and give them food because we want the people to connect. Zoku is all about connecting people and ideas. Uh, they really are, and you've got uh, you've got some fun stuff. One thing I recall is a bulletin board. Where would you like to see okay, Zoku yeah, next? Exactly. You guys finally have some projects that you can talk about. Yes. Uh, Copenhagen and Vienna. What can you share with us? Um, well, we, we, we're super happy that we could announce that. Uh, so it's with two, uh, 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 two sites, Vienna and Copenhagen, as you said. One is 131 keys, the other one is 160 keys. And they're both in very vibrant areas, both mixed-use buildings. So we really help to uh, really uh, 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 make a destination of those right. cities. And maybe a nice fun fact, after the, uh, after the announcement yeah. of the two sites, we even got the first booking request for September in two years or so. Oh my goodness. Are you open yeah. right now? <laughs> really nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. So obviously you're going to be going to additional places in Europe. You think you're going to come to uh, North America and try to school us in a thing or two? For sure, for sure. Now we're working on the US to, to, to kind of see how we can get mm -hmm. the team together. But for sure, uh, we want to bring Zoku to the US. Yeah, yeah I, I think it's great. And the only thing I worry about, you guys, is the people are going to see your concept and start to copy your concept. But you've got a secret sauce that it's going to be hard to repeat. In the end, it is, it is the soft, right? It, it is the soft skill. It is the people. It is the mentality. It is the culture that you can you can never copy. So I got a question for you. How much is the community you're with in? How relevant is that? Or are you able to create a community in a place that may not have had that before? Where you're located in Amsterdam, um, it's, it's just on the outskirts of where all the tourists hang out. But it seemed like a great location. When you move to these other cities, are you already in a great location or are you hoping to create a community from nothing? Definitely create a community from nothing. Wow. And it is also what we did in Amsterdam. It was an office building that right. was empty eh? and it was in a street that got awarded the prize, mm -hmm. ugliest street of Amsterdam. Right. And now it's kind of a cool street, right? And now they, they, they call it the knowledge mile, right. right? Because people come together, innovation takes place. Yeah. And Great. this is, I think, the power of Zoku. Yeah. Uh, I, I love Zoku. Uh, follow Zoku online at livezoku.com. Livezoku.com. Live, yeah. So for uh, Mark and myself, Glenn, thanks for watching Here to Stay TV.